Fred Film Radio, I'm Matt Makuzzi from the 2021 Rome Film Fest and more precisely we're going to be talking about one of the films that's being presented in the Alice nella Città section. Uh, we're going to be talking about Lam, which is an amazingly powerful film and we have its director here with us, uh, Valdimar Johansson. So thank you very much for joining us first of all, it's a real pleasure to have you. And, yeah, thank um, you for inviting me. This is kind of a question that I want to ask more so that I know what not to say about this film. So how would you introduce it to the, to the listeners who maybe are not familiar with it yet and don't know what Lamb is about, as much as you'd like them to know? <laughs> as much as yeah, little. Yeah, yeah, it's about a uh, you know, couple, uh, Maria and Ingvar, who are sheep farmers. And uh, at one point, uh, there is a newborn uh, that comes into their life and how they deal with it right i think uh, in a way that you know it's uh, very good to you know know as little as possible about yes. this film and uh, even uh, i i would not watch trailers or read anything about it you know yeah you almost don't want even to to to, to watch the trailer almost <laughs> because that's true i mean i watched it and i thought it was incredibly intense i didn't know what was going on uh, one thing i will say though this is a type of film i don't know if you agree that you don't really see that often i i you know i i'm glad that you're saying that you know because what we wanted to do in the beginning was uh, we wanted to make a film that we wanted to see, and we felt that we had not seen. Mm. But you know, there are maybe a lot of films that are similar. But uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, we wanted to do something that uh, that we felt that we had not yeah. seen. Well, I mean, in the sense that also I was saying that you deal with a, a lot of issues, I feel like. I mean, I, a lot of people could see very different themes in this mm -hmm. film. Of course, the couple being one of them, you know, the, the, this, this kind of almost mysterious uh, relationship that they have with each other. Very quiet place. And this is where I wanted to start. How much is the setting important? in this film? How much is this desolate, almost remote, Icelandic setting important to you when dealing with these topics? I, I think it was very important, you know, that uh, in a way we could uh, create it our own world, that we could have co totally like a control of it. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, we, we can decide what, what is in this world and uh, somehow uh, because we have so few characters in the film and uh, also, you know, we decided from the beginning that we should try to have as little dialogue as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you you know, for the audience to just read in um, the characters with, uh, you know, body language or f face facial expressions. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, very important, this... Uh, it's, it seems very intense, too, you know, when, when you have those silences, mm -hmm. like you said. Was it as intense as we see it on the screen on the set? Was that intensity palpable? Yeah, it was. Because, uh, you know, uh, we were shooting uh, at, at this location and I, I, I don't know how many times I drove around Iceland to look at, you know, the perfect location. Right. And uh, because uh, we had a very specific farm in mind that uh, yeah, that we had, uh, you know, drawings of, and they were sending to a lot of people. And, but when we found this one, we we felt that this was the right because uh, the nature around it, you know, was amazing, yeah. and uh, there were no phone connection there, and it was probably like one and a half hour from the nearest gas station. So uh, when we were there shooting there, because we were also. Uh, when, yeah, when we were shooting there, it was like uh, 24 hours of uh, sunlight. Mm. So, and we were also shooting many of the scenes after midnight because it's always bright. And uh, somehow it uh, it felt, you know, a little bit scary in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, scary is one of the things that uh, you. I mean, you, you, a, a spectator watching this film can be frightened. Uh, we could get into the categorization of this film, which is really annoying, unfortunately. That's just the way marketing goes. I don't see it that way at all. Uh, in being respectful of the fact that I really don't want to give anything away, no. uh, I just want to, I still want to ask you this question. What do you feel is our, our humanity's relationship with nature nowadays? 
Are we overstepping boundaries? Are, are we paying for some consequences of the past? Or is it much more, is it totally different? We should welcome the change. Uh, you know, we are probably, you know, going over the boundaries, you know, that we should do. But somehow, you know, we, we're probably not going to, yeah. uh, I don't know how we are going to deal with it. But I think... Uh, are you concerned about it, though? I, no, you know, I, 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 I'm not concerned. But, you know, we, we are a little bit, you know, uh, what do you say, acting like we rule everything, you know. Mm. And, uh, but of course, you know, we are so small against the nature. So, yeah. you know, I don't know what will happen. I, I want to ask you one more question. This is the last one, unfortunately. Yeah. I have so many questions. I, I, I felt while I was watching it, empathy was so fluid. I felt empathy for everybody and everything. Was it important for you to almost not know where to exactly focus on focus your empathy on no but in a way i i i, I feel that um uh, even though you know in a way i think everybody is a good person or, or some way or you know sure. animal or whatever you know it so that uh, yeah, I, I somehow felt that, you know, we should, uh, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, I don't know how to say it, you know, but uh, I, th I think I know what scene you're probably thinking about, but uh, in a way I, I didn't want to, I didn't want nobody to somehow leave uh, that, I, I felt the audience have to, like almost everybody. Right. Yeah. There's no, you know, uh, bad or good people, or no, no good or bad. <laughs> and everyone's just trying to survive at the end of the day, yeah, right? Yeah, because you know, uh, you know what they're doing and what you know, you you ask a lot of questions, but what they do is, you can have both answers. You know that yeah, you, know, you should not do it, or you know, I understand why she did it, or you know he or. Yeah. Uh, in fact, everyone, I think, watching this film is going to have their own little reaction. Yeah. I got to go, unfortunately, you know. I feel so bad. Cause <laughs> I, got, I got like a million questions to ask you about this film. I'm going to be thinking about this film for so long. You have no idea. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably I, it's, uh, a good You thing. know, it's good for me, at least. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm glad. <laughs> I can definitely recommend this film. I got to go. But uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much Thank for joining us. Thank you so us. much. And this is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.